uh, work that we're doing right close to the seafloor. But uh, Hercules is attached to Argus, mm -hmm. and um, Argus provides a great perspective from above, like a bird's eye view of everything we're doing, and also dampens the movement of the ship, which is attached to Argus, so that Hercules doesn't get tugged around when it's maneuvering on the seafloor. Thanks for that explanation, Megan. Sure. And yeah, and Hercules won't won't dive without Argus, but Argus can dive without Hercules in, s in certain situations. That's useful. That is correct. Only channel three has audio. Lots of questions in the chat about why they cannot hear audio. Uh, um, hey, uh, this is Herc. Um, sorry, just shaking the rust off a little bit here with the first launch. Um, I think I'm back in the game. Awesome. Hey. You want to introduce yourself? Oh, yeah. I'm Gabby Inglis. I'm sitting Herc. Great. Mia, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Nia Beckler. I'm sitting at today, and I'm excited for this dive to the cruise. Thank you for those who are keeping us aware about the audio. We're taking a look at it and it will be resolved soon.
for those of you who are tuning in, we are diving at Kingman Reef Hummocks within the Kingman Reef National Wildlife Refuge in the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. We are expected to be in the water for 24 hours. Um, we're looking at biodiversity, the geology of seamounts, parasitic cones, and to characterize some deep sea coral, sponges, and volcanic rocks. We only expect to go as far as deep as 1,829 feet. Uh, meters. Meters. Yeah. Meters. Okay. <laughs> so channels one and two seem to be working fine. Uh, they're not working fine. Oh. We have we a are. cool. That would be great. Let's have it. Okay. Van, this is Data Lab. Is it possible to have channel two showing something other than black? YouTube gets unhappy with us if we show black for too long. It's uh, what's coming from the uh, Argus camera right now. Um, can we point the camera into the light pool or? I mean, it's let's pointed down. Let's troubleshoot that. There's something strange about that, actually. Um, yeah. So we should, when the Argus camera is pointed down and we have all the CathX on, we should be able to see something um, if it was a Zeus Plus. Right. Um, not yeah. sure about the mini Zeus and its light, its light gathering abilities. Yep. But um, do you have some iris control there? It's wide open. Okay. I do, I do have iris control. I can shut it all okay. the way down. Uh, let's it look at the Argus cam real quick.
So you, you can tell I have the lights on just based on the flare that goes away when yeah. I turn off the center, you know? Yeah, yeah and I was going to say just um, go th if you... I was going to say just do what you just did. Like so, cycle them. Yeah, yeah, and see how we see that. Yeah, and I'm seeing them actually in um, a few other cameras that we have. So I know that the lights are working. Um, I can change. It's tilted more or less straight down. Yeah, I mean, I got more down, but yeah. It's like. I feel that's, like that's we like should, full down. Yeah, I feel like we should be able to see. I'm used to being able to see more. Yeah. Um, but I've never not had the Zeus. The, the Zeus Plus? The, yeah. yeah. I think that, yeah, I I don't have a great rep recollection. We ended the season with just dash. Um, I see dash cam, um, and it looks like it's gathering light. Um, so right now, if you look at Argus, uh, we've got some lens flare. So there's some lens, uh, there's some light yeah, pointing into the, into the camera as well. We're zoomed out all the way wide. Iris is all the way open. So. I what, did something. This is what it is. Oh, I just closed the iris and opened it again. To oh, make sure it, it looked a little bit. I remember seeing the camera cover off. So yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's no that's. I mean, that's. <laughs> no, very good. Fair question. <laughs> yeah, totally. I saw the camera cover off. So. Yeah. Um. Hmm. We'll, I feel like we'll know more when we get closer to the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a little hard to do any further troubleshooting yep. without that. Yep, it is what it is. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm good. Sorry, guys. You were going over a... Terrain? Terrain, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, we can jump into that. Uh, if you guys have access to the high pack screen, um, I'm going to sort of guide through. If not, I will do it with words as well. So... There's an optional visual. So you have a very similar voice to Aaron Heffron, and it's mm. very confusing right now. <laughs> I've got to like recalibrate. It's really, really similar. <laughs> That's funny. And we I'm do like, spend a lot of time together. Oh, so. really? Yeah. Nice so time. like I've got to like, I'm like Aaron Heffron. Okay, I don't see her next to me, so it's not Nav talking. Like, I'm, okay, I'll reorient. <laughs> Um, all right, so we are at Kingman Reef, and we are going to go through this area called the Kingman Hummocks. Uh, that means that we're going to sort of be climbing upslope um, towards the reef, and hummocks are sort of like little hills uh, across the seafloor. So if you can see the contours here, we're going to be coming up and then down into little valleys and then up again. Uh, and, and sort of repeating that as we get shallower and closer. Uh, and we have a total of eight waypoints here, um, ranging in depth from our starting depth of 1,829 meters to our potentially finishing depth of 262 meters. We'll see if we truly go that far. Uh, that was all up to sort of the conditions and the timing um, and the ship itself. Uh, so pilots, as we go over these, it may be um, easier to come up and then drop down again rather than try to, s to track the slope, uh, just because they can be a little bit unpredictable, these little hummocks. Yeah, so we're... We're coming in right here at waypoint one, uh, and waypoint two is going to be at the top of this first hummock. Uh, so we'll just track slowly up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How high are they? Uh, the first Sorry. one is 13.18 meters. So we're going to climb from 18.29 okay. to 13.18. Okay. And then the second one is 13.32. So actually, slightly, well, that, that third waypoint isn't quite at the uh, summit of the hummock there. Okay. So this will be slightly deeper. We'll track down here to waypoint three, and then we'll track across and up this hummock here to waypoint four. 
uh, which is at 1,082 meters. Okay. So it will be a lot of up and down and at your discretion for how we come down. Um, sure. You know, we can play it by ear, like, oh, we'll just see what the slopes look like. Yeah. And uh, are those black contours, those are 100 meters? Yes, those okay. are 100 meters, and then the white ones are 10 meter contours. Okay, great. And so for, to make about five to 6,000 meters um, headway throughout this, this watch, where does that land us? Oh, that's a great question, Megan. Um, let me take a look here. Okay, okay. So that will okay. put us sort of right in between waypoint three and four. I'm gonna start slowing down. Great, oh, thank okay. you. Probably right, right that sounds in good. here. I know I'm way far from the flange for slowing down, but I'm like on the lump. Yeah, sure. Is it okay? Yeah, absolutely. I'm like more conservative on the forward end and a little bit less on the back end. Sure. Okay. That sounds great. This is where my instincts <laughs> Yeah, follow fall. your gut. Okay, just letting you know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We did have some rough weather, but it did calm down, and we are happy to get back going with the expedition. Absolutely. We have a question. Um, oh, fish. Oh, I missed it. So I would like to know, how does the salinity of the water affect the fauna and flora? That's a good question. Great question. Ooh, that is a good question. I don't know if I have a good answer for that. Because <laughs> I don't think I, in my experience, have ever just plucked out that as the only variable to look at. Uh, in the work I've done, I'm usually considering like temperature, depth, oxygen, and salinity. They all kind of can have some variation with each other, especially temperature and salinity. But there could be scientists that have looked at that, and I just have not seen it yet. Mm. Mary, do you want to share a little bit about what what you're looking at this cruise and what some of your research background is in? Uh, yeah, so I am currently a graduate student at University of Louisiana, and I am looking at deep sea coral right now, but specifically looking for one that's commonly called a bamboo coral. I'm sure if you've watched past cruises and dives, you've probably seen them plenty. They're all Kylie, over. Kylie, when you get a second. Yeah. Uh, so I am looking for one that kind of has a unique kind of odd branching pattern. It's very specific for what I want, but in the past, uh, in my undergrad, I spent some time doing video analysis uh, in various parts of the Pacific, just kind of doing general species identifications of deep sea coral along seamounts. Thank you, Mary. Great. Amber, do you want to share a little bit about your research and what, what we're looking for on this dive for, for some of your work? Sure. So my primary locations are here around Kingman Reef, Palmyra Atoll, as well as further south in Jarvis. 
Uh, I'm looking at the volcanic history of these seamounts because these are uh, ancient volcanoes. So I am specifically looking to collect um, rocks from around the flanks of these seamounts to take them back to the lab to crush them and date them and look at the chemistry and sort of fingerprint uh, when those volcanoes were active and where in the mantle their source material came from. Nice. It looks like we have uh, camera one, three, back in action, we're still just waiting on two. Um, we are aware, for those of you who are wondering why, please be patient and we're gonna figure it out. Mary, we have someone who would like to know what type of bamboo core are you looking for? Um, is it the J. Clade or the Candelabra? I don't know if I said that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not, it's not the Candelabra. Um, I know my advisor has looked at that in the past, um, but it is one that, if anyone's familiar, starts off as this whip species, or what we think starts off, so just straight up in the water column, not branching or anything, and, but however we think, it is kind of a late brancher, and so it could potentially be a whip mistaken as a whip that just hasn't branched yet. So. Nice. We call it a sparse brancher right now. Sparse. <laughs> However, we're trying to see if that's true or if that's just the young version of these corals. Someone was just asking um, regarding the bamboo corals, do the branching patterns give more information or on certain genetics? Uh, the branching pattern can definitely tell you more about it and genetics will tell you even more. So that's also part of my project. but. There's a lot of different ways to look at the branching. Some of them come at what gives the bamboo corals its name is the these proteinaceous nodes they have in it. So mm -hmm. some will start branching out at that node while others kind of are more uh, internodal brancher. So just along the skeleton there. And some will call bushy and kind of you see these branches from all over and ones are more like planar. So and fan-like, so you're not getting that more three-dimensional look. It's kind of, I'm gonna say flat, kind of, but for lack of a better word right now. <laughs> Got it. So, uh, Nav, uh, science, right? So when we when we reach the bottom, let's uh, start moving once we're all set up and ready to go around like 0.2 to 0.3 knots to see how the ship responds. And then we can pick it up and yeah, yeah, perfect, awesome. Are there any midwater transects for this expedition? Um, no, we're not really focusing on midwater transects. Um, we'll be definitely going through a lot of blue water since some of our, our dives that are just outside the Marine National Monument are going to start at depths that are almost uh, double the depth that we're at, so more like 
3,800 meters or so. So that's a few hours of, of blue water, but no, not uh, horizontal transects. Mm. Our targeted depth to um, our location is 1,829 meters. those of you who are tuning in, we are diving at Kingman Reef Hummocks within the Kingman Reef National Wildlife Refuge for about 24 hours and our goal is to explore biodiversity, the geology of seamounts, parasitic cones, and characterize some deep sea corals along with sponges and volcanic rocks. We are aware of no sound on channel one. Um, please stand by as we continue to figure out and troubleshoot the air. This might be a good question for a scientist. Uh, the audience would like to know how many samples and of what size is Hercules capable of securing? Um, so Hercules is able to collect quite a few samples. Um, there are a number of different types of sampling tools that we have on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Niskins, which are water, essentially large water bottles that we can collect water samples. So we have uh, six of those. So we can have six different water samples. We've got uh, five push cores, which are small um, kind of plastic tubes that we can stick into the sediment and get a nice profile of the seawater to sediment interface. And we also have um, these large kind of retractable coolers, which are our are, are bio boxes. And so those have dividers in them and we can collect samples using the manipulator arm and either grab a rock directly or we can use a scoop or we can use um, another tool and, and we can stick those into those boxes, so. But we also have um, we also have slurp sample, so that's another way that we can kind of mm. vacuum up uh, sediment or or an organism that is not great for grabbing with an arm. And how many spaces does our little slurp container hold? Is it six? Yeah. So we have. We have seven, two, four, six, seven, Plus I think. A yeah, seven and a flush. Yeah. But when we collect a slurp sample, sometimes we, we end up getting several different samples in one jar. So, um, yeah.
<laughs> Thank you, Todd, for taking care of that. We appreciate it. So when we're bringing bio samples to the surface, how does the pressure of, uh, difference affect the samples? Sorry, uh, could you repeat the question? Mm -hmm. When bringing bio samples to the surface, how does the pressure difference uh, affect the samples? Um, yeah, so the, the kinds of creatures that make make the biggest difference when we bring them up to the sea surface um, are those that have uh, uh, a swim bladder. So an, a part of their mechanism um, is, uh, uh, is really depth related. So it's how they swim. And so some of these, it, it's mostly fish. Um, and so if we, if we were to sample something like that, it would definitely be looking quite different once it comes up to the sea surface since mm -hmm. it's not used to the, the pressure difference. But a lot of the samples that we're dealing with, to my knowledge, but I'll defer to Mary, um, who's the biologist have back not here, noticed. is uh, it's more temperature, different. right? Yeah. 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 So like corals and sponges. Yeah, I think, I don't think pressure will affect them too much. And I definitely have not noticed them looking super different once they hit the surface yep. compared to on bottom. But there are a lot of, the organisms I collect are all sessile, so yep. they just have to always stay in one place, so I don't think pressure has impacted them too much. But certainly temperature makes, oh, yeah. makes a very big difference. So it's much, much colder down um, on the seafloor where we're sampling than it is on the ship. Got it. Hi, John from San Francisco. Thank you for tuning in. And we appreciate the well wishes. Yeah, but it, um, it looks like it was resolved. Someone was asking um, about the live data not showing, but I guess it is. <laughs> Amber, this is a good question for you. Um, someone would like to know what research is being done regarding the dating of these volcanic rocks. The dating of these volcanic rocks? Mm-hmm. Well... That's my current research. Um, <laughs> it's been done several times before and we're collecting more now, but on the um, NA-110 cruise from several years ago that came here, I actually have the samples, a subset of these samples um, back at my university. And so we're currently crushing the rocks and picking the minerals out to do argon-argon geochronology on them and date them. So we'll be dating, I think we have samples from the flanks of certain seamounts around Kingman, Palmyra, um, 
one called Dragon's Back Seamount, as well as the seamounts around Jarvis. All right. Anyone want to share what do you do for fun when you're not actively on call to the ship? It's a light question. I think we have some people crocheting sea stars. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was me. I, a, I often crochet when I'm at home and now on the ship. Brought some stuff with me. Made our uh, science lead Megan here a sea star last night. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty convinced that this little crocheted sea star gave us the good luck for Yay. our good weather. So, <laughs> yes, several of us were making little little knickknacks to <laughs> ensure good conditions for a dive today. I think it worked. <laughs> Someone says, "Thank the sea gods, you're back. Your adventures for good for the good mankind." are a beacon of hope. Oh, <laughs> a beacon of hope. How oh, nice. <laughs> Someone would like to know, what will we do with the sonar mapping? Say that again, Brandy? Uh, Someone says that they were reading about Kingman Reef in the National Geographic, and so they'd like to know what will you do with the sonar mapping? Ooh, Nia. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear the question. What do you do with the sonar mapping? What do we do with it? Yeah. Uh, as far as once we're done collecting the data? Sure. Um, yeah, that's a great question. So. Here on Nautilus, we do exploration-based mapping. So we go out and we look for places that are sort of unmapped or mapped uh, with gaps or low resolution, and we fill in those spaces. And then we create a data package, um, which is available for a variety of applications. Uh, very diverse. We are willing to share that with essentially any academic um, like university or group trying to look into an area and they need bathymetry. Mm. Uh, it goes directly into um, the JEBCO 20, CBA 2030 project as well as to uh, Lamont Doherty at Columbia who put together um, sort of the master map. They're sort of in charge of that JEBCO. JEBCO is a master map project. Uh, we have an agenda to map all of the oceans by 2030. So that's what that's what CBED 2030 is. Um, and we submit our data as soon as possible to the group putting that together and they add it to the master map. And then if you actually go on Google Earth and you look at the ocean, you will see JEBCO listed there. Um, and they release, I think about every six months, an updated version uh, which you can, you know, view publicly pretty quickly. So our data is kind of everywhere uh, and used in a really wide variety of ways for a really wide it's variety of down. applications. Well, so are we, the primary comp. But, you know, awesome. as our, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Okay, speed back up. Give me the beans. All the beans. As many beans as we can afford. 
to get to the bottom, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get there. Let's get there. Who are we waiting on? Is it me? <laughs> Actually, yeah, we are waiting on you. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Calm down up there, Argus. What's taking so long? We've only got 240 <laughs> meters left. We have been waiting for days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Months for me. I've yeah. been I'm raring to go. <laughs> Someone would like to know what type of measures are used to protect the cameras from the pressures at these depths. Ooh. So, the, Ooh, oh, what, what is, is that? That, that oh. is probably a piece of Velcro, <laughs> yeah, would be my <laughs> guess. Um, so the cameras are inside, tight, uh, one of them's inside a titanium housing with a glass sphere mm -hmm. um, on the front, a glass hemisphere on the front. Oh yeah, if you put bubble up, you can, people will be able to see the hemisphere on the front of the Zeus. Um, video, can you put, can you actually send bubble, bubble cam out to the, to the world? Um, so they're inside housings that are pressure tolerant to 6,000 meters made out of titanium and very thick, like inch and a half thick glass. Um, and they've got special seals on them made of O-rings and Kapton. And um, that's how we protect the bigger, more expensive cameras. The smaller, less exp expensive cameras might have housings made out of different materials, uh, steel maybe, um, but they'll also have glass covers over the lenses. Um, keeps the water out and protects them from the pressure. Nice. You can see in bubble the, um, the guard kind of going around the right in, right in the field of view. That bubble has a, um, additional guard so that the um, craft arm does not get its uh, elbow caught in the lens of the bubble cam. So we should be seeing the bottom come up in the sub bottom very shortly. Raj. Welcome back, Veronica. We're glad you're tuning in. Yep, there it goes. Do you see it? Yes, I do. Excellent. Raj. That's our girl. That's the seafloor. <laughs> She's a little less than 200 meters off. And when we hit about 100 meters off um, Herc and Argus, that's when we're going to go quiet for you, correct? Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you guys, um, I mean, not dead silence, but just, you know, it's just tough sometimes. <laughs> we got tough. you. Thank we you so it. much. <laughs> we'll let you concentrate on keeping the ROV safe. In yeah, so there's a bunch of things that happen at 100 meters. We try and um, right now the, the vehicles are tail to tail. They're facing opposite direction of each other, which is a great configuration for descending um, and ascending, but it is not how we operate on the seafloor. We get um, the vehicles turned around and pointed the exact same direction with Argus on top and Herc on the bottom. And that sort of reconfiguration, making sure we, sure, sure we do that at a safe altitude is really important. So right now you're seeing an echo there. Yeah, yeah. This one's gone, I don't know. I know, I changed the range because I oh. thought it was good by then, but then I, so it must just be coming yeah, up right it'll now. Come up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. It was because, you know, the scale. I was, I, yeah. I thought I was reading it as past 150, and I yeah, was like, oh, totally. I can change it down, and they said, <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Good. There's a bottom. There's a bottom here. <laughs> we found the bottom. <laughs> faster. Okay. Yeah, let's get there already. Yeah. Let's do some science. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
What is that? Little, little fish. When we do get to the bottom, mm -hmm. would you like 4K there so that... Um, so that's up to the back row, those two up there. Okay, Raj. Yep. But uh, we should. We need to spend a little bit of time and figure out what's going on with uh, Mini Zeus as well. Raj. And we'll do a white balance. We'll look at the tether. There's a bunch of little like uh, housekeeping things to do. Okay. So I've got Doppler lock now and an altitude of 100 meters. Roger. That's a pretty good Doppler lock to get that at 100 meters. Do we switch Dopplers? We're using the no. low frequency Doppler? Okay. Not that I'm aware of. We took it off at the end of, like when I got yeah. off, we took it off and sent it out, but I don't know what they put back on. It, okay. Yeah, I've got four beams at an altitude of 92. Mm. Wow. Solid Wowza. feedback. Wowza. Yeah. Wowza. I'm into it. Yeah. So I'll stop off at 50 meters above yeah, bottom. Totally. Roger. And we need to do a little bit of experimenting to see what kind of deltas we like for this terrain. Sure. Because it's, you know, the stuff that we did last fall doesn't carry over because that different tether length. Sure. I am so excited. About what? We're going to get to the bottom. I know. We're going to do our feeling. jobs. <laughs> like, we're going to collect science. <laughs> like, there's going to be things to see. <laughs> Nia, how are we looking on um, weather? Okay. I'm so Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm all stop around 50. Okie dokie, Smokey. I'm mm -hmm. going to start getting down below you a little more. Actually, I might already be as down below you as I need to be. Do you want me to turn your go head on now? Yeah. Okay, Raj. Check on. your uh, your thrusters are off right now. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I have done that so many times. It's going to be hard to keep my head in the <laughs> thrusters. Well, I don't use them on the way down, so I, I just know, let them I know, hang I know. out. <laughs> I know that feeling. What tether length um, do we currently have? 30 meters. 30 meters. All right. Uh, Nav, can you get me 20 meter grid spacing on Nav G? Ooh, another little fish. Yep. Mm. Thank you. Ah, that's okay for now. <laughs> Nia, can you um, check to see if you're on SPL, please? I am on SPL. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Is it more useful for you to have a bubble right there or for Argus to see yourself come into picture? Oh, I see you in a down cam. Yeah, I'm not Watch. really using that right now. Okay. I use, I, once we're on the seamount, I'll do quite a bit more navigating by the okay. Argus camera, but okay. right now I'm just using a uh, down cam. Okay.
Wow, that is not great light on the NAR on Mini Zeus, huh? Correct. Oh. Yeah. That's not going to be fun. Super creep mode. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a different <laughs> atmosphere. Can you um, write that down? Yeah. The lighting is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Iris is all the way open. Huh? Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, um, let's start heading down. And, um... Okay. Yeah, let's start heading down and look a little up with uh, Argus Cam. You got it. Let me tilt up and pay out down. Okay, let's go. Two for one. Let's find the bottom. Let's Where get are there. you? It looks like we're going to actually, It's the tether's pretty reflective, so I don't think it's going to affect us, but we're maybe going to struggle to get those beauty shots if it doesn't shape up a little bit. Sure, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, what is that? Another mm. jelly? Oh, it's gone. I think so. Probably was. I don't see anything that would indicate a um, a wrap in the tether right now. Raj, bottom in sight, 4K. Oh yeah, I like that 4K shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a like beautiful spot. <laughs> beautiful little sand ripples. We're on, on bottom. Okay, so we can, oh, I'm just starting to pull on you. We can operate at about 24, 25 max for our delta, if we're like right. Can you come down a little bit further when you you're got ready? It. Yeah, I was just gonna log on bottom. Yep. Oh yeah, awesome, okay. Ooh. How many 4K shots have we taken so far? Just one? Get yourself down to... Like 16? I'm not sure. Less uh, than that? A little... 14? Uh, let's go 20 no. yeah. to start. Oh, Raj, okay, well then I'll stop where I am. not taken in any 4K uh, shots. Do you mean 20 meters or you mean delta 20? Captain. I mean 20 meters of altitude. Oh, Raj. Yeah, so come down like another five meters or something like Got that. Got it. This is such a cool spot. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm all stop. Okay, great. That's beautiful. Uh, Nav, you can do a Doppler reset when you're ready. All right, I will do that now. And I'll give autos a go when you're ready. All right, I'm changing the solution here to Dead Reckoning. So hot. All right, resetting DVL if you are ready. All ready. DVL reset. Okay, awesome. I'm going to give autos a try, see how they go. Auto depth was not happy. <laughs> okay, that's looking a little better. Um, so, are you sure that your source is um, actually dead reckoned for everything? Because um. my auto XY jumped around quite a bit there. Just give it another check. Yep. 
How's that? Let's try that. Shall I reset again? Nope, just give it a second. Okay. Just, just watching to make sure that it, um, there may be some current or something. Raj. Um, if for some reason the source is actually sent to LBL and you go into autos, it's gonna try and jump to every LBL. It's a mess. Um, okay. So we can chat when you're done doing gauges. Um, Raj. Video, did you want to do a white balance? Yes, please. Okay. Yep, and we're gonna be doing a little training here. So this might take two hours. Oh yeah, absolutely. Than, than normal, so. We have a lot of extra lights to work with on white balance too. Would you prefer us to use the setting for white balance that's gonna be the most common operational setup for you lights? Bet. Yep, okay. and, and get the white patch on the arm out right yep. in the middle of the pool. Like. Okay, totally. Um, okay. Remember, if you ask the video engineer about lighting, he's going to say more. <laughs> he's going to say what? More. More, yeah. Always. always oh, look at that pretty thing. Um, no, that's, no, no, no. That's like before the cruise starts, we mobilize. Um, we're diving now. I don't know what options you have, but... Mm -mm. Mm, there we go. Oh, I love that 4K there. That is such a cool like be thing to be able to see. I've never seen it on the vehicle before. It's really I've cool. seen it on vehicles, but not. Uh, I've seen it on the on Little Herc. Gotcha. So is this our 4K shot? So the 4K is in the lower left of the front monitors here. Okay, so I'll take that. Now it's top top right. That's the 4K it's top right. Beauty, as oh, long as yeah. we're holding still. Okay, video, you can go for Zoom and we'll try and get that centered up for you. Copy that. Probably need to come uh, over a little bit more into the light. Okay, roger that. Pan the camera to match. So, pan left. And That's better. There we go. Yeah, and then tilt down just a little bit. Good. You got it. Okay, now zoom in. More, 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 more. Why? Gabby, can you... Tilt yeah, absolutely. Um, yes, Kylie, do you yes. know the trick bit. where you do your pans and tilts when you have to make little adjustments with the buttons? To make it not do... So it's just a little bit more precise than using the stick. What do you do? These buttons Zoom instead oh, of this. Oh, Raj. I don't know why it never occurred to me, but Dan thought of it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, uh, Gabby, obviously. Because yeah. this thing is just not precise enough. Right. Gabby, we need to fill the frame a little bit more. Okay. Can the arm come closer to the camera without... Okay, so we have a new light arrangement. Um, okay. Can you go wide on the... On the yeah, come out wide. Um, when I come in further, I lose the lights. Okay. Um, right. But we can turn on other lights. So right. here, I'll show you so what happens. Just right. remember the sextons on the uh, yeah, porch. Yeah, totally. Uh, so, yeah, I can see the porch pretty well from Bubble right now. Um, so see what happens. So if I go here, that's more light, but um, I can also just turn on more lights. Let's do that. Because it's falling off to the... Uh, oh, there we go. But that's going to be really hot. That's the porch light, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want That's that. super spicy, right? Yeah, super spicy. Um, so do you want to try that? Um, we can for the white balance. Mine is more even, so all right. So if you can move the arm into yeah, the center of the frame totally. for us. Yeah, totally. Data lab math. Is Aaron okay. back in there? That will do. Um, I do have a quick question. Okay. That would be good. Eight. 
Uh, see if we go up a little. If we go up a little higher, then it yeah. starts to compress. She might be in the detail. gym. Yeah, we want this to be about there. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, is it the arm that's drifting? Can you go wide, please? I think it might be the pan. I think it might be the camera. Yeah. I don't think it's the arm. Um, okay, okay, zoom in again. I saw what you saw, though. Yeah. It's more likely to be the arm, but we'll watch it in bubble and see what okay. happens. Roger. Yeah, if you can send it up a little bit now. So can you watch and see... If it moves? Yeah, if the arm is moving, and I'm going to get the... Pan and tilt. To I think it's more likely to be the pan and tilt has a little leaky bit just because there's been a lot of fussing in those hydraulics recently and this feels it's been feeling a little weird yeah okay. so like I'll do like that and yeah I'll like Shift. do you see that yeah okay right. go we're for doing, it we're doing black bands so the camera's going to go to black Roger so we have uh, a can you write that down yeah, yeah. yeah. we're gonna push that down and it's gonna close the lens yeah so I'm not seeing any drifting happening in bubble blacks. but that definitely drifted and um, done, it'll open back up again and maybe we can just get through okay. it by exercising it too. And then sure, we're yeah. Do auto white balance, which is right here, and we're going to push up on that. Do you want me to center up again? And then push up on an auto A. And we did it. And then we're going to save that function. Can you ask him if he, want, if he wants me to center up? Scene file. I'm going to hold this button down until mm -hmm. it's beeped. He can't hear me. And now we've so. saved that okay. white balance. Do you want us? Do you need us to center it more? Uh, we're good. Okay, great. Good to go. Yep. Please zoom out. Uh, okay. And we're going to turn off the porch lights because they're pretty spicy. And you can change your um, Irish to suit. Irish, Irish, <laughs> Iris to suit. <laughs> also that. St. Patrick's Day is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never want to be without those. Uh, I never want to be without those porch lights again. Wow. Um. It's like, did they change the porch light? Because it seems like mega bright. Oh, yeah, there's two additional ones. It's, oh, okay. We've okay. only ever had one. It does look great. Hi, Jason. We are um, allowed to take samples. More specifically, we're looking okay, forward to... So More specifically, we're looking at uh, deep sea corals, sponges, volcanic rocks, and parasitic cones. Whenever those opportunities arise, Hercules um, will be utilized to collect samples. Thank you for your question, Jason. Um, okay. Nev, how are you feeling about our setup? Um, so you make, so you're going to make up the average, I think. You're going to actually select that. Your reset source is, you just click there and to at a point that you like. Yeah, and that's where your reset point is gonna be. But not when you're at solution USBL. Yeah, but I'm in full autos right now. So now, not now, but in just a second. Yep. Okay, um, 
watch lead. Oh, where are you at? Do we want, are we cool with cameras uh, consulting with back road? Do we like this? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Um, uh, let's, uh, back row, what do you guys think about our setup in the front here? Can you see what you need to see? Yes, everything looks good to me. Um, and we've got controls on the, the top two monitors, so no, okay. no problem. Um, and as far as the, the color, I mean, yeah, I think things look good. We'd like to, before we get moving along here, we'd like to get a zoom with the lasers on these ripples. Okay. Um, if we could kind of get our view, uh, basically get her perpendicular to them so that we can see the distance between the, the ripples okay. with the lasers. Sounds good. Um, one thing that we can do that might be a good practice move for um, video is that if you play a little bit with some contrasty things, you can get those ripples to like really light up. Um, but I'll get in position first so we can really see them. So you want perpendicular or... P this is perpendicular. Do you want perpendicular or parallel? I want parallel. Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then get get the lasers so that we can see a scale okay. between those. Yeah, sure. Those peaks. Also, I don't have 4K up anywhere. So... Okay. Just... Okay, thank you. Food for thought. Uh, in the back row, you don't have 4K? No, I mean, like, on any of these screens, I don't know where they might want things? it, okay. um, if they want it somewhere. All right. uh, what we did uh, previously when we were experimenting was we put uh, the 4K camera into the Telestrator monitor, and you can see it in the back row down there. Yeah, okay. I think I think it, it'll be up to whatever they'd like. I'm cool with right. for so the top I'm ones. Science. Yeah, go ahead, video. Yeah, what, where would you like the 4K camera to see it? Um, I'm I'm fine with this what we have right now, so I can I can, can move the 4K take a look up at your when okay. we need it. Okay, Thanks. so video can. I heard video and then I heard nothing. So do we have our 4K shot? Should I log it in now? What's no, that? Are we ready for the 4K to be logged in? We're uh, not, we're not, we're not going to do a 4K image 4K of this. Okay. We're just we're just zooming in okay. on these ripples. For, got it. Yep. Right. And then as you as you zoom, you're going to need to change your exposure as well and your focus. There you go. That's that's good. Exposure is a little hot. Copy. Ah. Thank you for letting us know about camera one. We are aware and troubleshooting the issue. What's up? Uh, Brandy. Brandy, are they talking about the Argus camera? What's the What's the issue they're talking about? Yeah, uh, they keep uh, letting me know that camera one and two have uh, no sound. Oh, they mean the satellite feed one and two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kylie, do you okay. have a fan rooting for you? Um, okay, uh, Data, are you getting what you need? Is there anything that needs to change? Um, did you get some good screen grabs of that, Mary? Yeah, I took some screen grabs. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think we're all set here. Um, we can zoom zoom out, Gabby, whenever you're ready. Okay, go for the zoom. It looks like those are a little over 10 centimeters apart, right? That's yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. That's what I was seeing, mm -hmm. like maybe around 15. It's tough because right in front of the... What if I? <laughs> yeah, right in front of the vehicle is like where things are a little bit blown out and there's yeah. a little more shadow off to the side. But yeah, it looks like it's about 10 centimeters. It okay. does. Excellent. Raj. So are you pilots, are you all ready to go to start, to start moving along here? Kylie's got two thumbs up. I'm good to go. Nia? Um. 
I need to reset our cursor here. Okay, uh, sounds good. That, when, is, it, is it a good time for that? It is a good time, go. All right. All right, resetting DVL to cursor. Reset done. And um, the green dots are 10 centimeters apart, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. 10 centimeters apart. Our lasers. Mm -hmm. They're mounted on the um, main camera of uh, Hercules. So they pan until as the camera yeah. moves around. Uh, do we need to load the sound speed profile for you two, or is that just... Nope, that's for you. Okay, sounds good. Then we are good to go, and I will get that done as soon as it pops up in my folder. Um, okay. Just a little side note. Uh -huh. Tensions around the last 10 minutes of peaks have been around 13, but we're, that's Excellent. the highest we've seen. We're Do doing you, good, we're, doing healthy. Can you put that um, the little Python script, the little Python window for tension monitoring up? Uh, I can do it. Is that it? It's probably... I don't, because I haven't seen what you're talking about before. Okay. Um, why don't you... Can you send a message downstairs and ask them what their... The peanut gallery is talking a lot uh, right now. Um, and ask them... Do you mean ask the data lab? I was going to say just ask our peanut gallery, but let me see oh. if I can find it real quick. We don't mean the back row. We mean um. um we, our, we mean the our other. Pin, our peanut. <laughs> the peanut other gallery. ROV pilots. <laughs> <laughs> That's a relief. Armchair quarterbacks. <laughs> I'm glad um, that we're not the. Yeah. Right. No. No. I wanted to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a Do we have a keyboard for engineer at all? Uh, no, I can move that here, and then I have a keyboard. Yes. Why don't you do that and just do an up arrow and see if you can get the history, like it, the last command given to the up arrow. And then what? the next thing would be enter, to, uh, just up arrow. I did that. Arp, okay. Arp a minus. Uh, a couple, a couple ups maybe. Oh. Let's see if we can find something. Nope, no dice. Okay, why don't you um, just blast them a text message and find out what the name of that script is and yeah. how you can run it, because I am not familiar. Raj. Um. And then. And this, this is in regards to tension. Yeah, tension there's a pipe that, there's a little GUI for tension display. But thank you for being on top of that. You got it. Okay. Tell the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> also, Gabby's busy. <laughs> Forward all calls to her secretary, please. <laughs> we got your, a good question, lady. Your peanut gallery is important to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the good question? Is this the first time Nautilus has had a female pilot and a co-pilot operating the ROVs on telepresence? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> is that a yes? Because it is. Yes! <laughs> we have some other very stellar female pilots, but as far as I know, this is the first time we've had two of them. Yay. And actually, we have an entirely female front row, which we have also never had. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to get us sort of stretched out here, and then we'll be ready to go. Stretch out in the right direction. We're going to be proceeding approximately east. What's right. a, what do you think the bearing's going to be? Um, let me select our next waypoint. So we are going to be a bearing of three five zero three five. Oh, that's a big ripple. zero three five. These are beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. So, wow. Argus, this is going to be our direction of travel here. Zero three five, Raj. And I'm going to get sort of stretched out the direction, and then we can get cracking. Okay. Let's crack. This is the sand ripples are just beautiful. I love them. Amazing. Not pretty. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to try and get imagery that doesn't have so much of the magnum arm, too. Um, can you check to make sure that magnum arm is all the way stage left? Show the left. Yeah. Wait, yes. That's, I don't need to enable anything to run him. Yeah. No. Yeah, I just... I'll just... Yeah, he's all the way left. Okay. I wonder if I... Oh, I know what the problem is. What's up? The problem is I need to wreck out. Oh, there you go. What are we coming on to straight ahead? Uh, pilots, are we ready to start the ship? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's get it going. Bridge nav. Gabby, can we get a zoom on this while we're waiting for the ship? Yeah, absolutely. Let me get in a little closer here. Okay, video. Hey Bridge, Let's uh, have a zoom. Could we track at 0 0.3 knots in a 0 0.35 bearing? Uh, you're pulling on me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are okay. those little C pens down there? We're not quite close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We can do better as soon as the vehicle starts to move a little. What do you think causes those sand ripples? The sand ripples? Mm -hmm. um, well, so I think what we heard from Emil was those are caused by, by the waves in the water mm. and currents. So I guess that means in this area we've got some good currents going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, we're going to be working our way up up the side of this this slope here so we've definitely got these a lot of uh, movement of the water happening because all of these kind of uh, geological features on the seafloor act as basically big stirring rods for um, for the water that's moving through here so definitely there's a lot of different uh, water movements and currents and that's going to be really helpful for a lot of the life that we're going to see later up uh, on the slopes of the Okay, go for Zoom video. Feather stars, maybe? Green yeah. feather stars? It looks like little crinoids or something, but it's a bit hard to see yeah. moving quickly. We'll get in a little closer very soon. Yeah, no, no worries. We're not going to get such great color from back here. Yep. Just a little blue that far out. Yeah, totally. OK, go wide. Just have a little patience. Uh, we are going just in a 035 direction at 0 0.3 knots currently. No. Would you like to uh, slow that down or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Let me make sure there's not something I'm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's a short problem. Um, Kelly says the audio issue is a short side problem, not the ship. So we won't be able to fix it from here, and we're waiting for the short team to address it.
<laughs> For those of you who are just tuning in, we're diving, um, well, actually exploring Kingman Reef, hummocks within the Kingman Reef National Wildlife Refuge, and the Pacific Remote Islands of Marine National Monument as we explore biodiversity, geology of seamounts, parasitic cones, and we're trying to characterize deep sea corals, sponges, and volcanic rocks. Today we are going as far as 1,829 meters. And please send your questions. We're happy to have you. Hi, Dave. We expect to be here for 24 hours. <laughs> yep, looking at lots of sand and ripples as of right now. I was giving a little bit of sonar instruction. Didn't know whether anyone wanted to hear it. So, But you can see a little bit of ground hitting right at the 20 meter mark, but nothing inside of it. And that's because Argus is 20 meters off the seafloor. So, cool? Good? Awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah, we just need to talk about it because the best move is probably going to be to pull up as opposed to stop the ship. Because when we stop the ship, Argus is going to swing in. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. OK, so video. One of the things that we'll probably do when, just when we're doing these transects is I'll have you zoom past the magnum arm um, just so that we get like nice, clear um, video. Yep. So you can just get the, if you get the magnum out of the frame, then yeah, there you go. That's great. And that's, that's pretty typical just to get like nice video. Um, sometimes if I say go full wide, I want to see the magnum arm for some reason. Okay. Um, but this is like, if we're in transit mode, just trying to get somewhere, this is what it should look like. Shrimp. Look at him, shrimpy, go for zoom. Get us some shrimpy footage. <laughs> Look at him go. Nice. <laughs> With some nice crinoids in the background. Aww. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. <laughs> Look at those legs moving so gracefully. Look at him go. He's swimming, I'm swimming. Can you swim on Argus? <laughs> okay, yeah. go wide. <laughs> I kind of want to sing that song that Dory sings. Ryan, can you, yeah. uh -huh. can you zoom on Argus? Sorry? Can you zoom on Argus? Hold there. That's good. Thank you. Ooh, those are nice. big rocks. Yeah. Can we pick those up and bring them to the surface? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little too big for us. Y yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing some schmooiness on uh, Herxus at the top. It oh, might, yeah. Like, even though, like, it goes away, it might just be lens flares. Let me see. Am I all the way extended out? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Tilt up a little bit more. 
see what we see. Are we running into a uh, lens flare from the upper lights? Yeah, I think it might just be the new light position. So, like, this is where I want to be for, right. like, normal transits. Yeah, I see uh, where we're just starting to get into it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely flare up there. Right the, okay, the so you don't think it's left. scuzziness, you think it's just flare? I think it's flare. Yeah, I think it might just be the new light positions, actually. Yep. Okay. So, you got that, Kylie? Yeah, I wrote it down. Got it. Awesome. Okay. Sorry. Dave, did you say something else? Uh, I just, no, I just said okay, make a note cool. of that, and you did. I have um, Ryan bumped in on Argus. Zoo, like, oh, okay. Just so you know. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's good, good to know. <laughs> um, so where are you finding comfort for uh, deltas? Like 13 to 18, it looks like? Yeah, generally, yeah, that's where I live. Okay, sounds good. Can we tell the audience um, how much area do we anticipate to cover within this 24-hour period? Bob's been here. Brandy, did you just uh, ask how much how much area we're going to cover? Mm -hmm. um, so during this watch, we're hoping to move around Five to 6,000 meters. Um, that's optimistic. Uh, but for this entire dive, if we go through all of our waypoints, I think our, our navigator tallied that up for us at around uh, 38. Yep. Video uh, zoom a little meters. bit more on Argus. Hold it. All right, come wide. Let's hold it there. We're gonna hold that. You don't have to zoom all the way out. We're gonna bump it in, like, keep going. Let's do that, let's hold that. That way we can kind of keep it in picture with the heave of the ship. Okay, I'm gonna come down a little bit lower video, so that'll be an iris adjustment, and then I'll wanna zoom on one of these crinoids. That's good. That's good. How's trial by fire going over there, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Whoa, quick zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know when you do so that. So a, a zoom on her and uh, an iris adjustment. Okay. Uh, the uh, Argus zoom is uh, yeah. sticking. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm trying to get it to... Nice. Lots of these yeah. nice little stockless crinoids. They're all finding... All little, that green color. Yeah, little spots on to, exposed rock to, to latch okay. onto. Yeah, yeah, totally. Maybe we just stay full uh, full zoom out. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to... Because it is making me nauseous. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It is it tough. Is, yeah. I'm just teasing. Okay, go wide. On her. Ah, cool. Gabby. Onward. Gabby, did you get that? The zoom on Argus is sticking. Okay. So it's either like they can't do it halfway. It's like either in or out, really. Interesting. So I'm going to stay out for now. Okay, sounds good. When we get to like some dramatic scenery, we'll do the in. Okay. Or like when we're sampling something, that might be cool. Yeah. Because it's fun to watch sampling from Great. Argus. But now I want to go find like features with critters living no, on them. That's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oops. We have someone in the audience wanting to know what alerted the scientists to explore this particular area for specific interest. Well, Amber, 
This is a big part of your research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the one we like to explore all areas. Argus, can you don't do me a favor we? and give me Always and get your curious. heading to zero three five? But yeah. anyway, these seamounts are all old volcanoes. And those of us that are a little bit crazy about volcanoes like me, uh, really like to find out everything we can know about all the volcanoes we come across. You got it. And so these awesome. here in Thank the Lion you. Islands, we don't know all that much about them. Makes total sense to me, Miss Amber. <laughs> um, and Mary from the biology side, what's so interesting about the areas that we're looking at on this cruise? A little bit of also kind of unexplored areas. So we also know that deep sea corals like these hard substrates. So this is kind of, well, when we get to some more uh, exposed rock rather than this sediment covered that we're seeing now, we're hoping to be able to see a large diversity of deep sea corals that we potentially haven't seen yet. Oh yeah, we're definitely having some interesting lighting right. effects on the Zeus, see the ring? Yeah. Definitely lens flare. Yeah. I wonder what that's all about, because I don't think we have porch on, do we? Oh, we have porch on, that's why. That'll we won't have any of those problems without porch. Oh, that's I lied, there. it's still there. <laughs> I wonder which one it is, maybe down? Uh, you can turn them nope. off one at a time. Yeah, do you think it's, I think I kind of see it on down still. I think it might be. Yeah. I do. Uh, do you want to try aft? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's aft? Is that gonna do it? <laughs> Mid. Uh, yeah. Ryan, someone yep. says that you're kicking butt and to keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Ryan, you are. you're doing an amazing job. <laughs> oh Thank you. Gosh. Great job, Ryan. So that's down on but mid off. still be a little bit there, but it definitely, when mid went off, it definitely uh, decreased quite a bit. So I've got mid and down off, and I feel like that sort of takes care of all of it. Yeah, I think you're right. Arg, we've got something in the sonar pretty close here. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Get ready to come up then but not yet because we could just be, we're not really climbing yet. Seems it's slopey. Yeah, it's slow. It's going to be a slope. Um, I agree. <laughs> um, as opposed to maybe a cliff and especially if it's got a, uh, like some of this hard substrate in it, it's going to really ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just, I'll uh, get out in front of Argus and make sure that we know that make sure that Argus comes up with my, to keep the Herc Delta right. And that will be a good alert there. Ooh, C pen, I Thank think. Thank you, good Rush. one. Oh yeah, yeah good eye. Right. Mm. Either that or a whip cord. Here's a little oh, anemone. Oh, anemone. Video, nice. are you ready for a zoom? Let's yep. go, go for, for it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Is it an anemone or, or, or a cup coral? I don't know, science. Anemone-ish uh, to me. Yeah, it looks like an anemone. Anemone. An -an 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 <laughs> <laughs> an anemone. <laughs> you guys good with this anemone? Do you have the shots you need? You get some good one. name grabs. Okay. Looks like it. All right. Okay, go on. We're all set, thanks. Let's go okay. search search for what's ringing in Argus here. Yeah, I bet it's going to be something like this that we're seeing in Argus there. Because right. we're, yeah, we're about 20 meters off the bottom, so maybe it's out in front of us. Now, I've got a question for you up front, Gabby. Yeah? Do we ever try to measure the amount of sediment that is down below. I know we have push cores, but have we ever done a thing of like holding out a ruler and trying to push it down into the sediment? Oh yeah, we definitely have actually. Ah. Um, we get like a, 
a spiky tool, like a long pokey thing, like a long <laughs> poker. <laughs> Very and we'll mark, we'll mark intervals on it and push it down into the sediment. Oh, nice. Um, and barring that, like we've pushed the jaws down into the sediment, mm -hmm. sediment too. Just various, anything we can come up with. This is cool. Ooh. Wow. Those are nice broken big chunks. <laughs> Still very sedimentary, I mean sedimented here though. I'm not sure if this would be somewhere we'd want to try for anything or not. Those are big. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that too big. Well, Can you recenter nav G for me? Right. Yeah, would that be interesting for you? I'm not quite sure. Everything we're seeing on the left looks more rounded, but mm. I didn't quite get a close enough look to the right of this big block that's in the center. Yeah. Those um tell me where to look. Uh can you look a little bit more to the right if we can get a little closer to that area? Okay. These yep, absolutely. Yeah. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Definitely feel free to give me orders. Otherwise, I will just be poking around and satisfying my own curiosity. <laughs> sure <laughs> Do we have lasers on? Sure thing. I don't really have uh, good depth perception and spatial awareness. So Okay, so some of those blocks are huge. Yeah, that's not your depth perception that's missing. <laughs> Cameras actually completely remove, like mathematically remove scale um, when they project things in the world onto the image plane. So there's no way you could ever reconstruct scale. Hmm. Okay, oh. so this is what we've got here. Yes, um, we'd have to I stop see. the ship probably, or we'd grab it really quick if there's something that interested you. No, I think okay. I'm good. Okay, cool. Well, we will press on. Excellent. Science team, would y'all like to let the audience know what is an anemone? I'll leave that for the biology mm -hmm. side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is a... You can track, yes, you can track, mm -hmm. but, um, and maybe, but then you don't lose the sort of flexibility to like, you know, yeah. Um, but if you want to, you can try it. Oh, what do we have here? A little sea star. Um, you're going to have to search around because I don't remember exactly where it is. Um, but you can keep it centered on the vehicle or on the ship. Um... Ooh, is that a slime star? Cool. What? Uh, oh, do you think we could get a zoom on yeah, that? Can we get yeah, a zoom definitely. There? I'm working in for it. Great. It looks strange. What is that? Little slime star. <laughs> Big slime star, actually. <laughs> Big one. Like, yes, yes. Very Monster big slime, slime star. Slime star. Monster. Monstar slime star. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> slime star, right there. <laughs> oh my! What? Well, pretty big. Okay, give me a zoom. Yep. That's interesting. I freaked out a crinoid and it took off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks nice. You get some screen grabs? Yes. We good? That's not his mouth in the center, Okay, is it? let's go wide and keep moving. I think sea star's mouths are on the surface. There he is. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh there's the crinoid. Yep, totally. Flying Excellent. around. Oh, I just want to check in. This is a good pace for everyone. I can move us slower um, or more incrementally. Um, I can just barely hear you, Nia, but uh, Same. if you could... Yeah. Is maybe. that better? That's a bit better, yeah. Okay. So we're going about uh, point 0.3 Yeah, we're uh, and point 0.3 towards our 035 he heading. Okay. Waypoint 2. And um, so how's the ship doing? And ship is holding great. Okay. Uh, if we want to have a little bit Ooh, more leeway to stop and take samples, um, I can call in individual steps. Um, yeah, let's, let's just keep things moving. Um, we could maybe pick it up a little bit to 0.35. Okay. And see how we do with that. And um, once we get in an area where there's there's more rocks and biology we want to look at, we can we can slow it down. Roger that. Yeah, I like that um, style of just like it, like incremental moves where in between you sort of like stop Ooh. if if there are things Hello, we're Lucas? looking at. But yeah, I like that style. About like. 
Um, but right now we can definitely go faster. Everything's pretty chill down here. And for all of those watching right now, if you see how the rocks right here kind of more look like tubes or sometimes look like big spheres or circles, um, this could be what we call like pillow lavas, pillow basalts and whatnot. So they're cooling really quickly. The inside will stay hot, but when the outside, once it uh, reaches the water, it'll, uh, the temperature difference between the water and the lava is really, really high. So it'll cool to glass super quickly while the interior stays molten. And so the molten interior just continues sort of pushing out and I'll make these sort of concentric structures. Oh, another crinoid. I think another feather star. Yep, and there's another one there as well. They are all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For those of you in the audience, those two green dots are the lasers. Ten centimeters apart. That's right. Thinking this whole area is very heavily nodule encrusted. Ooh. Oh, coral. First coral, I think. Yeah, yes. I would say you are correct. Which? Do you think we could get a zoom on that? Yes, I think uh -huh. there's some brittle stars on it too. Ooh. Wow. That was pretty. That's nice. So mm -hmm. what is this one? All the way in. Mary, did you get screen grabs of that? I did. Ooh, okay. Oh yep, we're all set. Thanks. Oh, and there's a cookie star. A and it has a. a I think oh, it, the cookie star that was right it? to the right of it? Is that I what think it was, it was in, maybe, possibly in view, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that little thing? Yeah. yeah let's see. Can I push it? Hold that thing. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that is cool. Okay, how do you think that? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's over to the right. There it is. Cute. Wanna grab some oh, that's screen so grabs cute. of that? Huh? What did you call it again, Amber? Cookie star. A cookie star. It looks like a little cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Megan says at least. I do not think it looks like a cookie. <laughs> You're not on SPL. But now so. all I can think of is cookies. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> That's why it's... Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I was like, why? There's no Why feedback. is everybody <laughs> ignoring me? <laughs> oh, were you saying something, Gabby? <laughs> Off SPL, yeah, but she was meaning to be on SPL. Yeah, so. yeah I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like nobody likes me anymore. <laughs> uh, a little stock oh, crying on. Yeah, there we go, struck. Stock crinoid, yes. Amber, is there a general uh, age range for these features? So we have some ages over here. Mm -hmm. So um, the age of the dinosaurs is when some of these formed mm. at the very end. So in the Cretaceous, so say about between 70 to 80 million years ago oh, wow. is when these were forming. Wow. We think, at least. Yeah. Ooh, another stocked crinoid. You can really see in the sonar those uh, kind of, what's a good word for them? Like where the rocks are broken up. And yeah. how they're yeah. sort of now, would we be able to attempt to collect anything down there, or are we going yeah. too fast? Um, no, we can do it. It's just going to be a quick one. All right. Um, you need to have in mind what you want to sample and what box you want it in. 
Oh, oh goodness. They I are need all Megan's open. help here. Yeah. Okay. So anything. Let's see. Like this. How do you? Yep. You want something small, something large? You want, what I'm are you looking for? thinking something small. Okay, what box are you going to want it in? So you can put it in whatever is easiest for you, but if, I mean, if you want to put it in one of the smaller star starboard bio boxes, like A, B, C, or D, that could work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so let's Ooh, see. setting down here is going to be <laughs> interesting. Okay, there's something behind me. So Amber is pointing out ah. with a telestrator. Oh. Oh, no. Here. Amber's having trouble with the telestrator. Oh, there might be an anemone or something. Okay, there. now watch it's your iris in here. Now. Okay. The the one you want? Yeah. Okay. Go back a bit. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I mean that might be an all right one. This one? Yeah. Let's Perhaps we can that one? try that. Okay. I'll look down. I mean that's more rounded. Oh goodness. It's okay. Let's see. How about right next to it, that very small one? Let's see if that'll come off if we could just get that. Oh, man. <laughs> all that sediment. It's all good. OK. <laughs> Yay, sound on channel one has been fixed. Ooh, nice. Our ROVs can go as deep as 4,000 Oh, that meters. must be really small. Kylie, can you give me a porch light? So. Thank you. You were Do on it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so this one here? That works, yeah. OK. Let's see. Let's see. Will it move? Oh. Probably not. Oh, 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 my. Okay. <laughs> so that is a, a very flat rock. That's not what you want? I mean, we can get it, and I can see what we can do with it. Okay. It may hold something interesting. We shall see. We shall see. Well, that's a very interesting guy. What do you think, Megan? Okay. As far as something useful for you? I'm yeah. Not sure. Is that something you're looking for? I mean, it seems a little bit flat. So but we're going to need to move a little bit soon. So let's just make a decision let's about drop that. Like, it. I'm just looking at okay, where let, Argus let, is. Let's drop it. Let's okay. Th thanks for doing that, though. Yep. Yes. I thought it was going to be a little bit more three dimensional. Yep. That's okay. Now, yeah. what is it that we have We just up there? have a little bit of way on right now with the vehicles, so we oh, just sure need thing. to keep moving. Yep, no problem. Okay, we're coming up. Let's see. Here. Yeah, totally. Yep. Thanks for chiming in, Nick from Texas. Are we full wide on Argus? Okay, thank you. There's a lot of lens flares. Let's get porch off here. You want us to zoom in and lose the arm? Uh, just give me a second. I got yeah. some rearranging to do here. Oh, okay. stop crocodoid. I've got lots of arms everywhere right now. Arms. <laughs> Dropping arms. Arms everywhere. Oh, there's another one. That one's a red stock crocodoid. Okay, so one. I guess um, Data and Watch Lead, take yeah. that as sort of a... Um, a gauge for how much time we're kind of going to have if we're moving at 0.4. Okay. Um, so I was fully stretched out when I sat down to do that sampling. Um, and then we sort of got to the point where Argus was getting closer to the hillside and that's when I said it was time to go. So that's like 
that's it. That's how much time you have. Okay, that's that's good to know. Um, we'll be more and more de decisive as we move on. It's okay. Like you can't always see um, what the thing is until you pick it up. So you know, and I'll just let you guys know when time's up. We okay. can also um, slow our our motion if we need yeah, to, totally. to really stop and explore. Definitely. Just give me a little bit of a heads up so I can relay that to the bridge and we can actually slow down. Yeah, I think I think for this this beginning part, I think we're good. But if we start seeing areas that we're going to want to be looking around a lot more, then we'll definitely slow down. Okay. Raj. Yeah. And if we find air, an area that looks like it might be kind of like a cliff that has sort of maybe a debris pile at the bottom, uh -huh. that's sort of the optimal places to collect my sort of rocks. OK, Perfect. excellent. Good to know. Yeah, we might see that when we come down the, the first little hummock. That okay. We're going over. More crinoids. But yeah, that, that first rock that we were looking at looked um, like it was all of this sort of bubbly texture we're seeing mm -hmm. is that botryoidal texture of the ferromanganese crust makes, but I think these are too sediment covered for something that would be useful for Coralie, another scientist on our cruise who's studying these crusts. What's this over here? Okay, video, you can push past the uh, you can push past the arm, and I will go take a look at the thing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it is either. Sorry, it could just be something on this the side thing of it, over and here? then. So there were some crinoids, but there is something a little bit below us now. Okay, where the that crinoids were. Yeah, that just looked a bit interesting. We don't have to stop for it, though. We definitely can, though. We can try. Uh, yeah, if it's if it's not difficult, but we can yeah, also. Yeah, where are you looking at? All right, where was it? OK, so over here. Right I see two here. cryonoids. I don't think it's I don't think that actually is anything now that we look a little closer. OK, so to the cryonoid that's in the center now, it's a little bit to the left of it and under it. I think this? it's actually a little bit of something maybe on the sediment. But I'm not yeah, sure. It just sure. looks like some goopy stuff. Can we get a zoom yeah. video? Yep. Just some, some sediment. Goopy sand. It, it's a great view of the that botryoidal texture. Yeah. See it Look really at all those right nodules. There. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Right. Yeah, it's very much easier for me to just turn around or back up or something and go grab a screen capture, uh, a frame capture than it is to like go like, because once you go for a sample, you have to sit down, which means you have to pick up and like, it's very little time invested to go look at something a second time. Mm. Great. So I'm happy to do that. Excellent. So sometimes I've stirred up sediment like, like a bozo and then we have to see <laughs> okay. that. Um, what's up? Can uh, an audience person wants to know, can Hercules tilt side to side and back and forth? It cannot. Hercules okay. is what we call in the biz uh -huh. uh, passively stable. So okay. that means its buoyancy is way up at the top and it's all its ballast is way um, at the bottom, mm -hmm. which means it can't do things like backflips oh, and crimes. barrel rolls. Mm -hmm. um, but what that gets us is a very, very stable oh, imaging crimes. platform. So that means if I am touching nothing, Hercules wants to stay very stable, mm -hmm. which is really beneficial for taking beautiful video. Got it. Some stock, some crinoids. Ooh. 
Definitely lots of crinoids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like we're seeing more and more of them as oh, we move up the slope. Oh, look at that little. Is that a little red crinoid too? No, or is that's that not a, a crinoid. That's else? a. Give me a zoom. An octocoral or yeah, a. Yeah, it looks like an octocoral. An an oh, oh, nice oh. catch. Great. Look at that little guy. And he's just on a little piece of rock that's completely surrounded by the sediment. And what is this one called again? Yeah, if I'm correct, it's an anthemastus. 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 That sounds familiar. I might have to double check okay, on that. Okay, go wide. <laughs> Our coral specialist is going to get back to us. <laughs> Some kind of anthemastus. Not quite sure of the species, though. Nice. I loved it, but not sure oh, if yeah. I spelled it correctly. I'll fix that later. <laughs> I would say that going much faster than and this the, with this short of a tether a, um, is like not really super feasible for me. Um, and like still be cruising. able to look at anything. Yeah. We just don't have enough time. It seems like we're really cruising. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Point three would have been slow can, with the longer tether. Yeah, but with the short tether, it's really tough. Yeah, go for it. Got it. Shall we slow down a, a notch? It's really, I think, um, I think what the watch lead's trying to balance is like making sure we make enough progress early in the dive versus, because yeah. there's not a lot to look at here. Fair enough. So like, it's fine for me. I can keep up. It just limits the, the interaction, the samples that they can do and stuff. Yeah. Uh, we are 900 Ooh. meters Ooh. off of That's our waypoint two right now. So. And then something else too. It's an urchin, it looks like. Okay. So well, we'll stop and look at the sponge, sponge first. Is this? A okay, go for sponge, zoom. A glass sponge. Ah. Where are the sponge people when we need them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where are sponge people? Uh, it looks like um, potentially a glass sponge. It does. All right. Gorgeous. Yeah, polyopagon. <laughs> Steve has chimed in from our science chat. I'm having, I'm sorry, I'm having a little bit of a brain oh, fart yeah. with my zooms. Okay, go wide. Um, and sea urchin, that's right. That's where we wanted to go next. Okay, go for zoom video. I'll try and get that in frame. There we go. Nice. Oh, and you can Ooh. see his tube feet. Oh, wow. I love the tube feet. I think they're so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a pretty color. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Ryan, those zooms are really good. Like the way you follow um, my movements and zoom out a little bit, you're doing a beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, go on. Try and catch up a little bit. Not feeling like soup. Things are a little bit bouncy, and I'm not quite sure what that's about. I wonder if I'm even like too stretched out from Argus and like still getting a bunch of heave transmitted. I think you're right under me. Oh yeah, and I mean just too much, uh, too much delta. I mean I like 16 meters, but uh, well, I only I only go on the high end of the delta when we're right stacked above each other. Yeah, totally. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why I'm bouncy. Ooh, I don't know what one? that's about. I think it's that same yellow coral we were seeing earlier. Yeah, it looks, right. like it looks weird. Yeah, we've then seen this guy. There might be another one over there to the right. Okay, I need to do a little catch up though. Go so for it. go. So we're gonna we're gonna keep moving here. Because mostly our delta has been uh, on the low end. Okay. Up, uh, yeah, up I've been seeing like 10 to 20, 10 to 20, <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 17. Yeah. Um, it's it's mostly around 12, 13 until I start getting past you and then I start pulling up. Oh, I know why I am seeing a lot of bounciness. I have nosy bias dialed in. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. Dan was having me practice flying without an easy bias, without any trim at all yeah. for a little while. Yeah. And I really struggled. Like, it's very bouncy. Yeah. 
but I, apparently it's good practice. Sure, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be coming up pretty quick because I got sort of fell behind here. Raj. You keeping an eye on that mezzo there, Kelly? Yeah. Okay. How sheer is this hill face we're looking at? It's not super steep yet. Are we getting in? Is this as steep as it's going to get here? Um, for the moment, on this hummock, yes. Okay. Ooh, more stock cry noise. It might tighten up slightly above us, but we're pretty much there for steepness. Oh, okay. there was a fish, maybe a hagfish that we just passed. I totally forgot about armrests and Z-bias and all sorts <laughs> of good things that make my life easier. Now, is that a crinoid? Yes. Yeah. Go for zoom. Yeah, I think this first part of the dive is the, the steepest slope of the dive, maybe, maybe except for the last, last little section according to our slope map. Okay, go wide. I'm gonna have trouble keeping still until I get a Z-bias in here, so I should do that. Gauges look good, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Hmm. Is this also a little crinoid or a sea pen? Um, that is a little too blurry. Yeah. <laughs> to tell. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving a little bit here. Yep. So watch lead, I really, I kind of feel like I'm scrambling to keep up. Are you guys able to see, I mean, not, I can keep up, but I'm having trouble like really stopping to look at everything that you guys are and at. And I'm wondering like how you're, how you're feeling with the pace. Um, we don't need to look at every single thing that, okay. uh, that Amber is calling out, okay. but we, but we can keep, we can slow down a little bit if you're, if you're having, if I'm, it's a I'm bit not having difficult. trouble keeping up if we're not stopping to look at stuff. Yeah, I think I think let's 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 keep going okay. a little bit more at this pace just because we're not seeing a lot of rocks or a lot of different biology that we haven't already zoomed. So Okay, sounds good. Keep covering some ground here. Ooh, more coral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I'm love just zooming on things. things. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to zoom on corals. Yeah, we'll we'll call out stuff and okay. if it's possible to zoom, sea it's pen, always maybe. it's always nice. Oh yeah, Is that does look like a sea pen. Or what about a bamboo maybe? Or maybe a bamboo? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I I think it's a bamboo. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah. like a bamboo. I agree. You think we could get a zoom on that? Yeah. Great. Let's go. Go for zoom. And then we've got a little uh Sea cucumber, a holothurian. Well, the excrement, <laughs> the, the little two. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, right next to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, go on. Great. Yeah. So when we do a zoom like that, we sort of spend the pennies in the zoom bank. Ooh, and gotcha. Then, and little glass sponge. Oh well, yeah, no, or nice. A tunicate, or I'm not sure. 
And then another Holocarian. one. <laughs> and then more things. You're I'm just having all, way Amber. too much fun. So we're starting to get a little bit more diversity going up. <laughs> all right. Thank you, LaVon, for your kind words. We really appreciate Another it. Another crinoid. That's kind of a cool color that I haven't seen much of. It's sort of an army green. Oh, yeah. Off to the right. Do I want more what? No, I think it's good. Me. I'm thinking these are no, all I think the it's same good. Corals. I think it's good because yeah, as be as yeah. as Gabby's going up, I'm going up, and it's staying within that range. You know, I think it's perfect. It's a pretty nice, corals. nice Argus view, even though it's a bit dark. I agree. I kind of like how it has the blue, Ooh, dark blue crinoid hue to it, and a coral. What was that, Mary? I like how the Argus view has that like kind of dark blue hue, though. Yeah. It's so dark. Definitely. Ooh, yeah, what is up that? to the right. It's a holothurian. Oh, is that a sea bank? Or is it just a normal? It's a sea cucumber, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I mean the stats are are the same as when we put in. Um, I think that big swell is just still sort of out there. <laughs> we are seeing a slight change in the wind and current direction, um, but nothing crazy. An anemone. Nice anemone and mm. looks similar to the one we mm -hmm. saw. We've seen, yeah, we've seen a couple of these now. Yeah. So oh, pretty. Great shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coral had some white on him. Is it? Can they look like that? I gotta say, I love that the uh, winch remote control is uh, grounded now, so when I touch it, I don't get feedback in my ear. Oh my you remember? <laughs> remember the feedback? <laughs> I can still hear it in my memories, but like, oh, I'm glad it's just a memory. <laughs> Well, feeling great, yeah. I'm feeling good. Nice. Excellent. Front row, you're doing great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Science is happy. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 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 Still happy. 
<laughs> and hey, the audience wants in, wants to know what the inside joke. They're like, "What are y'all laughing at?" So I just like everybody was so content, and then something <laughs> hit a button. <laughs> Where's the undo button? <laughs> <laughs> Did I hit that button? Was that me? <laughs> You're the only one touching things. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. We were getting bored. <laughs> keep it interesting. Just need to keep it spicy. Yeah, keep it loose. Join us again for our midnight to 4 a.m. watch. It'll be even better. We'll be real loose. <laughs> I think we'll even... I'm a little deliriously funny. <laughs> <laughs> the Argus view is great. We can really see those, the texture of the volcanic rock. Uh huh. Long, looks like sheep flows. Underwater uh, soap opera as the sheep flows. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Look at that stock. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought he was swimming, but no, he does have a stock. That's a high rise. <laughs> Getting the good current. <laughs> man, that little guy. A little, little stockless, maybe. Yeah, these sheep flows are beautiful. Yeah, more plexarids. So many of them. I like finding these like veins and following them up. They're pretty cool. Definitely. <laughs> hey, it's Nav. gotten steeper here for sure. Mm. Hey Nav, could we, if it's if it's not distracting for you, could we zoom out on the high pack just to see where we are relative to the next? Next point. Yeah. Uh, we are 758 meters and it is getting steeper. It's getting a little tighter, yeah. yeah. We're, I think, just beneath the steepest part, um, but it's not going to be, I think we're very close. Okay, let's slow us down. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> it looks like the ship's actually going slow, but um, can you ask for, uh, what did you, what does he, what are they doing right uh, now? We put in 0.35, and it looks like we've been going between 0.3 and 0.2 knots. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, That's not actually that fast. No, but... I think I'm just being kind of a baby. Um, <laughs> our, our current is now at a 110, uh, so it's going to, I think, push us just a little bit in the direction that we're moving mm. okay. already. So. There's something in Argus. Yeah, because right now he's going 0.1, so maybe... Yeah. Another holothermian. We're just sort of going to... We're just going to be rolling like this. Uh, we can also pause and, and step as shrimp. necessary. Yep. How about... So can you show me how much layback we have right now? Um, by zooming out on Napji. It's like, oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's like 50 meters worth of layback. About, yeah. It's really not bad. Uh, it looks like... He, there's a little trouble with maintaining. Yeah, it looks like he just wandered a bit. Yeah, let's keep an eye on that. I think, uh, I think Bridge is adjusting heading to be closer okay. in between the, the wind and current direction or the swell in the current direction. Okay, sounds good. Well, that's going to slow us down anyway, so here we are. That'll suck up some of our layback and slow everything down. So, good. Great. All right, I'm good. happy. Let's go with it. I'll uh, keep eyes on it. Totally. You know, I was thinking that 60 meter tether was so like long and ridiculous. And now I'm thinking that that's like optimal sea length tether. <laughs> seam out, seam, we wouldn't seam see, out. We, we would not be able to see Herc with it, with this camera. 
That's not with true. this camera. No, <laughs> it would not be optimal. But for the next for the next cruise, maybe. Sure, yeah. I don't know. It just gives you so much time. Like we did so I know. much. I looked at every single coral that I wanted to look at. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only ever use the long tether for Owen's Day. But mm. Other than that, it's been exclusively this tether. So I'm mm. like, I I prefer this the tether. Viz, the Viz is super good here. So it's like you can yeah. be far away. Yeah. And still do what you want to do. Yeah. I don't know. I'm missing it right now. I'm feeling nostalgic. What we can't have. Yeah, exactly. Do we even have it on board, do you think? No idea. Yeah. Raj. Just feeling nostalgic. Okay, now we're headed 0.4 again. It looks like he's recovered. That was pretty smooth. Oh, wow. He did really good with that transition from just managing his heading to getting back in the game. What was that? I see that. It is not working at all. Okay. Oof. Whoops, bottom. Okay. Raj. That sounds great. Okay, we have time all to the time <laughs> that I wanted to explore. <laughs> You ask, bridge answers. I know. <laughs> I actually shouldn't have been wishing so hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is probably on me. That's all right. Okay, let's have a zoom. Excellent. Just go all the way in for it. Some nice polyps. Yeah, nice. Nice job. <laughs> okay, go on. See if we can find something else to look at here. I don't know what's funny, well, but the laugh is making me I think it's the Joyful. sparkles. I think it's, it's the, the sparkles. sparkles. Do you like the sparkles? It was, it was the sparkles. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. <laughs> it's beautiful. It was awesome. It's shining. <laughs> Radiant. Ethereal. Great zooming, Ryan. Thank you. Let's find something else to look at. Okay, I see a teeny bamboo. Ooh, Ooh, just really? the tiniest little bamboo. Oh, really? I see it. Right in the center? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go for zoom video. Oh, that is small. <laughs> oh, so tiny. Oh, man. Wow. It's bright. Wow. Is there a little... Um, There's definitely a star on it. A star on it at the bottom. A brittle star or something. Okay, go wide. Look at that botryoidal texture. Mm -hmm. it, say that again, botryoidal? Botryoidal. Botryoidal? <laughs> botryoidal. 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 It's a it sounds Italian, say, like a like, pasta. Looks like the bell thruster's <laughs> going again. <laughs> I see a very tiny cup coral. Oh, where's that? Oh, where? Oh my god, it's so little. It's really oh, yeah. little. Go for zoom. That's right. I don't see. Oh, it's right there. there. You will. Oh, I see. Good oh, eyes, Gabby. Very Thank good you. eyes. Wow. Solitary cup. Nice. Oh, and look at okay. right next to it. There's a stocked something. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. A little little stuck stuck right. Solenoid? You yeah. can push oh. back in. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was supposed to be a zoom. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you looking at? 
right? Yeah, it's there. a little stocked crinoid. We could see it kind of now. Oh, yeah. See, I you don't see my... I, oh, I see it. Now yeah. I see yeah. it. That took me a while. For some reason, my little zoom on your screen, it shows up in a different place. Yeah. But yeah, a little okay, yellow Okay, go guy. wide. Nice. I'm full down on the on the camera angle. Okay. I'll get moving. Thank you. You got it. All right. <laughs> Look at this little ravine. Wow. That's a big basket star. Mm -hmm. A basket star or a crinoid? I think it was a crinoid. I think you're oh, right. now what is this the little, little guy? That looks right like a holothurian. Oh no, is that a shrimp? I think it's a shrimpy shrimp. Yeah, this one. Shrimp. <laughs> and then there's a little. There's a little. A little coral. Yeah, it looks like a little coral. A little plexarid coral. Plexarids are quite popular. You're off SPL. Oh, you're talking to you're talking to her. Oh, sorry, nice. sorry, sorry. It's oh no, you're okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'd forgotten. So small. Wow. Oops. That's a great zoom on the on the botryoidal texture. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the little arm of the oh, oh, and is that a little mm -hmm. tiny shrimp. shrimp? It's a little shrimp. I did a an adjustment to my Z bias that was clearly nice. incorrect here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that botryoidal texture is so clear right now. <laughs> yeah. Look at that overhang. Okay. I'm going to yeah. get cracking cuz I got to get out in front. It's a shadow. Nice. Big crinoid. Uh -huh. Are we full wide on Argus? On Herc. Oh. Perfect. Now you can push in past the uh, arm again. Thank you. Perfect. We haven't had a great chance to stop, and that actually would have been a great chance, but I was distracted by zooming in on things. But yeah, yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Oh, wow. Ooh, Ooh is that a, a very nice tall. lip, sea pen? Looks like some type of lip. So that was interesting. Like, I could see a full uh, loop of the tether come up past uh, pen, yeah. attached to a hard surface. The, the BSR when we had 16 meters. So is I guess that that's, yeah, I guess we got uh, like a full uh, double the tether uh, yeah. as a catenary at that point. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I'll other get out in front of you a little bit better and make this easier around. for you. Okay. Another community. Ooh, another sea cucumber sponge. and a sponge. Oh, holothurian. These are these are beautiful flows. Oh my gosh! Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. And those lines go up so far. That's how it is. How this flows went. Yeah, it's amazing Got having it, the Argus perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here I'll get you, I'll light think, up one of these here. No, that's another stock crinoid, not a C pen. I just feel like a glorified flashlight at this point. <laughs> 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 flashlight, cameras, <laughs> arms. Maybe Pandora's some more light box. here. <laughs> okay. Did we lose camera? No, we didn't. It looks like that was just the iris there. Going Correct me if I'm wrong. To black. Ah, yeah. okay. Here we go. And that's a, oh, there's another coral. Yep. Yeah. That sure is. Ooh, and little shrimp bee. Shrimp, go for zoom. <laughs> On the shrimp. <laughs> shrimp, shrimp. <laughs> so I just love these little shrimpies. They're so much fun to track. They're so cute. <laughs> 
little legs moving. Mm. I know. Oh, nice zoom. Nice focus there. That was <laughs> like really when good. I'm going through video. Gorgeous. And the yes. ROV pilots just decide, to, or the scientists decide to follow a fish along for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go on. So these aren't the type of corals we're looking for. We're looking for bamboo corals. Is that what it is? Uh, that's specifically for me. The yeah. bamboo corals. Ooh, but I'm interested in all. Hmm. Uh, I I'm interested not get in all images. corals, but yeah, we're 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 interested in getting a good sense of of all the different kinds of corals and sponges and and animals that are living on in this area. So mm -hmm. for the most part, we're going to be doing a lot of. Uh, great zooms and and uh, video and and images of of the representative uh, animals who are living in this area. But when we see something that um, that we want to sample, we'll take a, a small snip of it. But we'll yeah. we'll only do that when there's quite a few of them in a certain area. Okay. Um, or if they're quite special or something like that for yeah. for someone's work. There's another sponge. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like a tall glass sponge off to the left. Can we take a look at that sponge? They must be doing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A vase sponge? Is it a vase or a glass sponge? Oh, that's pretty nice. cool up close. What are we thinking, Miss Mary? Ooh, I am definitely no sponge expert because oh. I always want to say glass sponge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe Even we'll just go with yeah. glass. It looks like a glass sponge, I think. It is open. But I'm Sorry. also not a sponge expert. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's open. We've lost the cameras. Coming up. Bridge, Bridge Nav. Um, I need you guys to get maybe Bob and Dan, please. We need to track uh, a power problem. Okay. how fast, Gabby. Um, Sorry, 0.5 knots. Uh, Bridge Nav, we're going to track 0.5 knots in. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll just, yeah. In so a zero to five direction. One and two. Uh, we're gonna bring the vehicles up. We lost. Yeah, Raj. Zero point five knots at zero three five bearing. Oh shit. Yep, we are coming up. Yep. Uh, bridge nav. We are bringing the vehicles up. Okay. Who are Dan and Paul? <laughs> Just do the. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can I get um the the storage drum on the big picture up there? Let's go 
I know. I'm, it's just, it's it's fluttery. I'm doing it by hands. I'm doing it mostly by the picture. Just maintain that speed. I want to see where I am on the flanges. Um, I just called it into the bridge. I don't... A little much. Bridge nav. Uh, we're bringing the vehicles up. Uh, can we move 0 0.5 knots at a 0 0.35 bearing? Thank you. Uh, do we want to move the other, other direction? Want to move off? Um, can I see this? Vehicles the will be here. ascending. Stand back. What the fuck? The reef is there. Okay. So we don't want to end up there. Got it. Uh, no, I'm, I mean, I will. Let me just get the lat long in here. She, um. Oops, just threw away my notebook. Go ahead, go ahead, Dick. Okay, I don't copy again. Say again. I can see the 60 hertz right now. Yep, I've got it. Are we moving fast enough?
somebody was talking to me? Oh, um, oh, Ryan, yeah, I force talk you. Mm -hmm. You have to hear me whether you want to or not. <laughs> That'd be great. That sounds awesome. Aaron, thank you for coming up here. Again, both of you, emergency response, good work. Especially since we had just lost the bow thruster and we didn't have like a whole lot of control over the situation. Um, I think you can drag it, can't you? Maybe? That this is a big, this is a big monitor, a oh, long monitor. Okay, uh, Kylie, how are you doing? Okay, great. You did awesome. You did a really, like, super good job. You were right on the coming up on the winch. And you got the speed right so that you could take care of, like you, you remembered to take care of both the drum and the vehicle speed, which was awesome. Great job, front row. Very smooth. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> we like to think of ourselves as professionals. Good, good, <laughs> good in a crisis. You're very smooth, very calm in crisis. So, yeah, do you want to give just a quick little um, overview of what, what's going on right now for everyone who's watching out there? Well, we're just going to we recover the vehicles because it's, it's in yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Yeah. Absolutely. So, what happened was um, we lost communication with the vehicle, and it's a really funny feeling because everything just goes blank. So you all of a sudden have no feedback from the vehicles. You're completely blind, and it's not like you're flying blind because you also lose control over the vehicles. Um, and so when you lose all of that. Um, Herc is buoyant, so Herc wants to float up. And so that means that we want, it's good that Herc floats up, but we also don't want Herc to get tangled. So we start pulling up with Argus and we start the ship forward. And that means that Argus is sort of streaming out behind us and Herc is streaming out behind us and we're just gonna haul them up. And um, we're sitting up here just watching the system. We actually have locator beacons on both vehicles right now that the navigator is watching and they're battery operated. so. She can actually see both where both vehicles are in the water column without even power to the vehicle. So that's really nice. And we're just gonna sit up here and watch. And um, on the big screen right now, we've got the winch so that we can make sure it's wrapping properly. And we've got a view into the power supply cabinet where our local Sparky experts are <laughs> taking things apart and trying to figure out what happened. It seems as though there was a ground fault in our um, power supply, which um, is a, which takes, I think, 480 from the ship and turns it into 2800 before sending it down the wire. Um, and so that's kind of where the problem we think is right now. 
Um, and we're going to try and solve that problem, and then we'll get the vehicles back in the water and keep at it. Yeah. How does that sound? Is that, is that what you guys want to know? Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, our pilots and video and navigators all handled things very smoothly, and yeah, we're going like right to get our vehicles like back, above, yeah. back in good shape and get back out there. What do you want to call it? I really hope so. Well, <laughs> I'm a free is not a flight, so... <laughs> 